All right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. My name is Yewande Adekoya. Happy International Women's Day to all the women out there. We celebrate you, we love you. Even when you think that people are not seeing you, you know, God will see your efforts. Okay, yeah, welcome to this special program you know, where we're celebrating women across the world and we have brought wonderful women, you know, to encourage us to talk to us. And in fact, the women which are down this panel, I am on fit to introduce them, but thank God for grace. Okay, thank you so much everyone for joining us, wherever you're joining us from. I know you're, we have a lot of viewers from across, okay. So you're welcome. Like we said, it is the International Women's Day, and the topic for this year is all about digital innovation and technology for gender inequality. So we're going to be talking about, you know, so many things that has to do with women, uh, children, girl, child, young girl, a, a middle-aged woman, mature woman. Everything. It is a total package. Okay, and I welcome you once again. So without wasting our time, I'll be introducing the people that will be speaking to us. And when you see, we just decided to reduce the profile so that we'll not waste our time. Okay, they are wonderful women and, you know, God-fearing women. I've watched them over, over the years and I've learned from them. Okay, the first person I'm going to be, you know, introducing is, she's a wife and a mother. The, the truth is that all of them are busy. All of them have so many things that they're doing, but they still find time, you know, to do their business and to 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 rise in different areas of their lives. The first person I'm introducing, she's a wife and a mother of three. She's an architect, private practice of 31 years. She's a co-pastor for 27 years. She's a trainer. She's an author. And she's a diamond manager in the forever business. And she has been doing it for 14 years. Pastor Mrs. Zukamaka, you you're welcome. You're welcome to this session. Where are you? I can see your face. Let's see that your beautiful face, Ma. Okay, she's coming up. I, I figure she's having an issue with the camera, but she'll definitely come up next on the line is another pastor oh i'm blessed today <laughs> is another pastor mother of seven grandmother of five you know she also has a ministry co-founder of the ministry douglas please help me if i make a mistake Doas ministry 32 years of ministry work she's also a proprietress she has a school 19 years she has a school, creche, primary and nursery school. So you can see how busy these people are. And then she has a she has, she has a business, a global business against CEO and online presence with 51,000 followers. She's a professional network marketer and she's also a sapphire manager in the business. Ladies and gentlemen, help me appreciate Pastor Mrs. Ngozi Achunwa. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Pastor you. Kamaka, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming up. And last but not the least, Morning. is another woman of God. You know, she has a degree in education and administration, master's in law and diplomacy. She's a certified nutrition health coach. She has a business. You know, she has a printing press company. You can see business women, busy women. She's a wife. And she has two great boys, and she's also a sapphire manager in the business. Sorry. You're welcome, Mrs. Olusonya Oyeyemi. Thank you. Happy International Women's Day. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my name is Yewandi Adekoya, your own boost self. I'm a management consultant and a chartered banker. I'm just here, and I'm a manager in the business. And as we start, you will hear more about us, and then you can have enough time to ask questions. So please, everyone across the product centers, please help us organize the questions in your centers and so that we can have it even if though they're not online here. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining us so that we do not 
take too much of our time, Pastor Kamaka. I will start with you because you're our, di our diamond, our, you know, our God, our God the top. So with so much, so much, your profile, you know, I had to ask them to send just a little profile because I know that they have done so much. With all this that you have done, how is it even possible? So a lady is out there, she, she has, she's married, she has this, and she's overweight with so many things. How is it possible? Have you been able to do it? And you even look so young till now. How are you able to achieve all these things? Please talk to us. Please talk to the ladies out there. Good morning, everyone. Happy International Women's Day to all of us. Thanks so much, Yen One Day, and the great opportunity, privilege to be talking with us. Okay, so for me, I think one of the things that has really helped me is being very certain of what I want to do. You know, if you're not if you're not certain about what you want to do, then you kind of um, waste a lot of time. When I left school, I I just knew I didn't want to work for anybody. So from time, you know, from my youth service, I've, I've been somebody who is more like an organizer. You know, I want to do something, I prioritize, I arrange my time just to be able to achieve whatever it is I want to achieve. And then, of course, as a child of God, you have the assignment God has given you. So once you learn how to put first things first and then know what you should be doing at any given time, then you will do it. You know, and along the, and along the line, you find out that a, a lot of your experiences Sometimes, beyond talking to people, you will find God telling you to document. Um, if you look at different facets of my life, I'm an architect, right? And I love teaching, right? From when I was young, I found myself always, always having to be able to explain something to another person. We learn, whether it's in school or anything, I find myself being able to at least communicate to others. Now, you know, in the course of that, I actually found out that somehow, I'm an architect, yes, but I found out that um, the creativity kind of enters every segment of my life. You know, it's from designing house to designing a life and creating this, creating that. So it, it, your, your person shows up everywhere you are. So in the ministry, I'm a teacher. In the business, I train. So you find out that I'm pretty much, for me, doing the same thing, but in different areas of my life. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not struggling with with my, my purpose, okay? I'm not struggling with it at all. I'm just being me, anywhere you position me. So it, it's, it's kind of been um, just flowing with the grace of God, you know, upon my life. Now, doing the business or doing um, the things that I'm, I'm having to do, I have that passion. I don't want to be dependent on anybody. And I want to help. God has assigned every one of us we all have our own territory. We all have the sphere of influence, the people that God wants you to influence. And because you have that, if you key into whatever it is you're meant to be doing, you'll find out that you'll be passionate about it and do it. So for me, it's being certain of what you're meant to be doing. That is number one. You know, that definiteness of purpose, knowing what you should be doing, and then deciding because for some of us, we know what we should be doing, but we've not made that decision to go ahead and do what we should be doing. So once you make that decision, you kind of find out that you become passionate. And when you are in sync with, you know, whatever it is you're supposed to be doing, you know, kind of confirms your grace. It, it's, it, it's not a struggle. So you find yourself doing what you should do, but you are excited and you are passionate and the energy is there. So I'm not, I'm not struggling with what I have to do. There's that grace and I've just keyed into my area of grace. I believe that's what has helped me. And doing the business, you find out that uh, you can't be helping people stay healthy and wealthy and look fine and then you're, you're out of it. It's, part of, it's, all, it's all part of it. Thanks, Wendy. I hope I've been able to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. One major thing I picked out is if you can just find your purpose, you will not have to struggle. And so that's what one most ladies out there need to do. Are fantastic. Now, grandma, grandma of five children, of five grandchildren with seven children, and you're still looking fine like this. Please, how are you able to cope with ministry and you know and your career and the online presence? In fact, uh, when I grow up, I, <laughs> I hope to be like you. Please tell us, Ma, how are you able to cope and do all this? 
A happy International Women's Day to everyone. Thank you. I really thank God for this opportunity and thank you all the panelists in the house today and everybody listening. Well, I'll just briefly say that five secrets that um, helps me every day or that has helped me thus far. And um, the first and foremost is loving what I do and, you know, loving the way I do it. So almost everything I do is like a hobby, a talent, something that I was born into, just like um, Diamando Kamaka said, okay? Um, in ministry, I started ministry as a very, very young girl. I got born again at the age of 12. So <laughs> ministry was just natural for me. I grew into it. And then career-wise also, what I do as a pastor, as an educationist, I started teaching right from Sunday school. So I just love teaching. I love what I do and I love doing it. So that's one of my secrets. And then the second secret is making sure that I'm always at optimal health. I don't joke with my health because when you're on your top form, that's when you can perform you know, at top form. So I've always um, loved, even before I, I joined Forever 2016, I've always had my garden at home. Anywhere I live, I have my garden beside me. I try to plant everything I eat, you know, just to be sure that I have the best of health. So um, coming into forever was like an answer to struggles and pains and, you know, having to plant everything yourself. And I got what could help me to actually make up the nutritional gap that one has from all the things one would buy. Okay. And if, you know, one of the things that blew my mind was one of the trips we took and um, we went to where they were producing some of the supplements. It blew my mind seeing that no chemical was added. It was like from the farm, you know, right there. And then I, I went to where they were doing bee pollen, this bee pollen. In fact, when I came back, I don't think I've ever stopped taking bee pollen after that because I'm like so natural, nothing added to it. So, you know, having that optimal health and making sure every member of my family, you know, it's also in optimal health is secret number two of how I cope with everything I do. You know, many times when I look at what I've accomplished every day, I'm like, I hope it's 24 hours or that's hard that I had. But then the secret again to being able to accomplish all that is delegation. I have one adage that I always use. Whatever someone else can do for me, I don't do it. So I delegate a lot. In fact, I have a, a guest from Canada in the home now. And when he saw all the people in the house, he said, you have too many people around you. And I said, I said, I have so much to do that if I do it all myself, then I'll be needing maybe like 72 hours to make up for one day for me. So what helps me is also the secret in forever leveraging. I don't, anything anybody can do for me, I don't do it. I only emphasize the things I can do by myself. And then number four is the God factor. Every morning, every evening, every moment of my life, I depend on the grace of God because it's, it can only be his grace. It's, it can only be his grace. There's no other way I can explain what he has done for me or what he's doing for me every day. It can only be the grace of God. And finally, maybe I will say time management, prioritization, okay? I, I ask every day, Evening and night, that's what the scripture says. The scripture says evening and morning of the next day. So I start my day the night before. The night before, I already know what is going to go on the next day. They already arranged everything, the big things I need to do already arranged. The most important things that must be done on that day already arranged. And the things that can move on to the next day already arranged on my to. Okay, I have my notebook. I have my book that I always um, put everything, very, very big notebook I have every day. So I have everything written down in pencils the night before, and they only go on viral only when I have achieved it. So for me, those are the five things, you know, maintaining optimal health, delegation, God factor, loving what I do, and time management. Thank you. Thank you so much, Grandma. No wonder you are still looking so young. So all of us, we young ladies, we are learning from you, you know, every one of you, we really appreciate you. 
And I'm glad you're able to say that. So I, I caught the five things, and I'm sure a lot of people did that as well. Loving what you do, good health for the family, delegation, God factor, and time management. Great. Thank you so much, Ma. Now, our our lawyer, is it law, uh, international <laughs> law diplomacy, you know, our madam, how are you doing? You look good. Thank you. Look you. Good great voice. When I see your voice, I'm like, when I grew up, I wanted to be like you. How are you able to okay. cope with your business, your printing press, you know, all the things that go on? And I know that you live in Lagos, the, you know, the, the, the one with the busy life. How are you able to cope? with all that and still be able to do your business. All right, thank you, my darling sister. And I want to say happy International Women's Day to all great women. We celebrate virtues and courage today. And I want to appreciate the panelists too. Actually, I'm going to come aside what um, the diamonds have said. I want to come from the area of balancing, you know? If there is imbalance in your life, it will affect your purpose and potential, it will affect what you do. And so we should, God has given men and uh, women grace to do a lot of things, you know? We, we, we could, you know, do a lot of things at, time, at, at a time. God has really blessed us. And um, for me, it's knowing what you want, and go ahead to achieve it. And I want to thank God for, you know, when looking at my background, I, I want to say that a lot of things changed when I joined Forever. And um, it has helped me in knowing how to handle my business. I remember there was a time I, I started, um, aside my printing, I also started a supermarket. And um, I realized that um, it was really taking my time. And I, I had to close it down because, you know, that kind of business needs you to be there all the time. And um, the printing, you know, with what I've learned, this personal development from this business has taught me how to do a lot of my printing work, you know, online, you know, and in fact, I must tell you, the only thing is that I have to plan how I handle everything, the home front, I uh, handle my children are grown ups now, although they were still in school when I, they, when I started forever. But you know, when you are at a point, maybe you're at home, you have to give that priority to your presence at home. Nothing should affect, you know, this, nothing should affect uh, each other. So you need to balance and that has helped me. And in the church also, I handle the children department. I love children. And so a lot of things, there are so many of, um, responsibilities that God has put in our hands, especially women. And all we need to do is to know what we want and have love for what we do. I love what I do. I'm always passionate about things that I, I lay my hands on. For example, my printing started just like you know, for love, I didn't start as a printer. I trained as an educationist. But, you know, when you're doing something and you love what you are doing, there will be growth. When you love what you're doing, you will grow. And when you're ready to learn, I think that has helped me a lot. I love to learn. You know, this um, um, going to school, at, you know, I never knew I would, I would go to school, but I learn from people. I have people that I look up to. And when they say something, I go for it. I also want to learn. And that was what moved me to uh, Institute of Nutrition, Integrative Nutrition in New York. And I did the course for one year. So I think it's, it has to be what you want, where you want, where you see yourself. When you have goals and you desire to be, to be better than where you are, always learn to grow. Always try to love what you do, and in and when you love what you do, you actually will grow. So there's going to there's need for balancing, and I want to thank God for the products Forever gives. You know because um, I joined this business on health ground. I chose it because I was looking for money, but I just wanted to be well, and I found it here, and I just discovered that I'm getting better every day because, you know, when you have a balanced body by taking the right nutrients is going to help you. It's going to help you achieve goals. 
in life. Another thing is have a good mindset. There is a need for a mind shift. You know, you must love, be positive minded. You must love your health. You have to make a conscious choice to be well. And that is me. I always make a conscious effort to be well and, and the attitude of gratitude, you know, for where God has taken me to and where he's taking me. So I want to say that uh, for me, it's beautiful to talk uh, to, it's beautiful that um, I met this amazing opportunity. And so I could balance my forever business. I know how to handle it. I could have um, a portion time and that has really helped me a lot. God bless you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much. I see that out of everybody, the same thing everybody keeps saying is you have to love what you do, you know, and all that. And it is very, very key. For me, I just, if I had known this, maybe I'd had this panel 20 years ago, maybe my life would have been better and faster right now. But I just learned, you know, lately that I, I met forever and it's just about priority. How am I able to do my business? Forever Living has helped me, you know, to, to achieve so many things. So when something has helped, when a business has helped you, you give it priority. And social media, the digital space has actually also helped in, a, in my busy life to be able to do the business as well, which is also part of the thing that we're talking about today. And uh, as uh, International Women's Day, you know, digit, digital. So when we did it all, our business, my every other thing, we, we give it priority. I gave it priority. Just I know that I can't do everything mm -hmm. at this stage of my life. I choose the things that are important to me. Like uh, Grandma said, Achua, <laughs> I keep saying that. You know, she said she can't. She delegated. She delegates a lot, and the only the ones that she can delegate is what she does, and that's what I've also learned to do. Every other thing, you know, it can also wait. You know, we de I delegate. I do, so I do for my time management, there are four major things that I do. I do what is necessary for me to do. I delegate the ones that I don't have to do. I delete or I drop the ones that is not necessary. And then I delay or defer all the other things. So I don't have to do everything at the same time. So but with that, you know, you are able to, you are able to achieve what you want to achieve. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. And I see so many, uh, so many comments in the comment section. We appreciate you. We appreciate every one of us. Okay, so I'm going to start again with Pastor Kamaka. Uh, Mrs. Olusana was talking about the product that she loved the product. And I know that there's so many people watching right now. If you're a man, you listen for all the women around you. And there are different women from different categories, different age range. So we're just going to look at it, Pastor Kamaka, for the family, for the home, what kind of a product? You know, the woman is the one that takes care of the home, that makes sure that everything is fine. Let's look at it. How can a woman help work in the home and help our home with some of our products? Can you just recommend and maybe share some experiences on that? Thank you so much, man. Okay, thanks, here, Wendy. All right, um, um, uh, all of us really, as as you heard our talk, you find out that we're all operating in various capacities. And one of the things about um, we women, we're multitaskers. You know, a woman can be in the kitchen and be in the bathroom, be everywhere at the same time. So sometimes you find that, that the woman really doesn't get to look after herself. She's looking after every other person in the family. No, but, you know, with our business, it has actually taught me that there are simple ways, there are simple things you and I can do to make sure that we stay healthy. Because once ill health heats, it, it, it affects every single person. Now, but the thing is this, a child can be ill, a husband can be ill, and they get away with it, they can be on the bed. But the woman, you, you can't afford to be sick. I used to tell people that as a woman, you can't be sick. Because even if you're sick, you're going to hear mommy, sorry, but what, what are we going to eat? Or your husband will say, okay, oh, I'm really, really sorry. Said, but what, where is this one? So you find out that even if you are ill, all your work is still waiting for you. So for that reason, I believe that we should be more proactive. When I joined the business, I was hypertensive. I had um, hypertension. I was on aldomet and moderatic. So I took quite a couple of products to help me with the blood pressure. But, and then over six months, my BP regulated. So I've not been on BP drugs um, since 2018. No, since 2008. I'm fine. 
But you know what? Apart from the BP supplements or BP, um, yes, the products we use, there are some basic things that as a family, we have been using. Before I joined Forever in 2008, we were regulars at a um, children's clinic because I had my last daughter had um, adenoid problem. She had um, she had tonsillitis and she had adenoid problem. She was a mouth breather, so she couldn't breathe through her nose. So we're always in the hospital every two weeks, always on uh, um, very strong antibiotics. I don't know if you know things like Zitromax, erythromycin, and um, oh, there's a third one, but very strong antibiotics. But you know what? Starting the business, I came in for business purposes. I came in for the makeup. But finding that the products are amazing, there are three basic products. Then we didn't have the vital lines for women and for men, but there were things I used in place of them. But right now, what we basically use as a family, because you can't say you want to be well as an individual, as a family, the children, they have gotten bigger but forever kids is for anybody from age two to 200 so forever kids fantastic it gives you all the basic nutrients you need the phytonutrients vitamin a c d3 all the b vitamins for the energy it works on the mind it gives you iron magnesium zinc so you find out that when when a child takes forever kids every part of the body is fed you know it's, it, you're talking about proper nutrition calcium all of it for the children now for the men i'm sure maybe we'll talk about that later just to make sure that a man protects his prostate which they call the you know the uh, the time bomb so for the men and you have the vital life for men but now let me zero in on we women there's this amazing product called vital life for women why i call it an amazing product is that it balances remember i said that we're multitaskers so you find out that a lot of times as a woman you are stressed out but you don't allow the stress to stop you because there's so much to do whether you are stressed out or not there's still work left to be done so vitalize for women is a product that actually addresses so many of the women's needs so much of the women's needs i know that you know when we're in our late 30, 40s and early 50s people become concerned about menopause and all of that but you know what if you start using this product before that age the menopausal problems people are scared of, it wouldn't be a worry to you. Now, what does Vitalize for Women contain? It contains at least one major product, you know, cranberry is fantastic for, for everyone. It's fantastic for the urinary health. Very good. It's fantastic for your skin, cranberry. So a product that's um, a Vitalize for Women, it contains cranberry. It contains shisandra berry, it contains passion flower. You know, as, as, as we women, when we are stressed as women, I don't know, I don't, I'm sure there are no underage children online. I hope not. Okay. When we, when we are stressed out, then the bedroom suffers. Our relationship with our husband can suffer because we're just not in the mood. We're emotional people. We're not, women are more of the feeling type. So if I'm not in the mood, then my relationship with my husband will suffer. So you need to make sure that your hormones are balanced so that your relationship with your husband would not suffer. So Vitalize for Women, the passion flower, the shisandra berry, make sure that your hormones are balanced. The cranberry, make sure that your urinary tract and hormonal, there's also, it's also for hormonal balancing. Now, when you look at your, your immunity, your bone health, you know, remember as we're getting older, because every month you have your period, you're losing calcium. You lose blood, so you lose calcium. As you're getting older, we need to replace that calcium, you know, the calcium replacement therapy. So the Vitalize for Women has calcium, it has magnesium, it has iron, it has vitamin C, and then it has the B vitamins. So basically, it addresses your, you know, a woman's, you know, just basic unique needs. It helps your energy. It helps you to balance your moods. It's good for your mood. If you take Vitalize for women, you know, all those irritability will be greatly reduced. It also helps your sexual desire. That's what it does for you. It helps for your body detoxification because there's cranberry inside. It eliminates free um, radicals. It's fantastic for your hormonal uh, balance and good for your urinary flow. All right. So for those of us that have not, you know, we're still in the childbearing age, Vitalize for women too. Fantastic. If you see any woman who maybe her period has stopped for a while, but she still wants to have kids, if she if she takes Vitalize for women consistently, the period will come back. For those of us that are 
getting to menopause and all of that. It makes you, the, those symptoms, the hot flushes, you will, there's no way you can avoid menopause. It's just that we want to avoid the menopausal issues. So if I'm taking my vitalize for women, it will help my hormones balance and I'll just ease into that menopause without having those crazy feelings that women have. Thank you, Yewande. I hope I've been able to uh, say something helpful. Yes, Ma. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ma. See, grandma in the house. So we're talking about 60 and above. We have matured aging with grace women. Please, Ma. Let's let's go to Pastor Achua. How can what can you recommend for people in your age range? The I mean, people that are let's just say 60 and above for them to we see some some elders, some women because of what they've gone through and what they've lost. Before they are 50 or 70, they are bending, their body, they are complaining, they look older than their husbands. We see that a lot and all that. Please, Ma, kindly recommend some products and talk to us about it. Talk to women about it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ewande. Thanks um, for the opportunity once again. So for um, menopausal women, let me say, of course, we know that just like um, Diamond Kamaka said, as women, we multitask. And by the time we've lost uh, or gone through men uh, menstruation for so many years, we have a lot of nutrients and a lot of um, our hormones, you know, imbalance and things like that. So I would say that four things that every woman should be doing right from, not even until you're old, you should start it and start it on time. Four areas you should actually be very, very careful about. The first one is your diet. Our diets are absolutely important. Make sure that your diet is nutritious, dense diet that you're taking every day. You know, um, some women find it difficult, like um, we've, we've been saying, to take care of themselves. But you just have to know that your nutrition is very, very important. And the second thing is exercising. We must exercise. I have a lot of women ask me that uh, they do a lot of work. They are working up and down, working in the farm, in the kitchen. That do they still need exercise? Yes, it's absolutely important for every woman to bring out that time for exercising. If not, you're going to, your body future will tend to be like the work you're doing every day. You find that there are some people who work on the desk and they tend to bend to look at their computer and things like that. As they are getting much older, they bend faster than those people whose work is not, you know, you know, entails bending like that. And that's why exercise is good. But when you don't have time to exercise, you're going to like give your body, your whole body, that kind of massage, that kind of, you know, ability to move and your muscles to be exercised all through. And that's why you will not bend and that's why your core muscles will still be okay. Okay, because you've done that exercise. So exercise is very important as number two. And then the third thing is supplementation, which well, that's the reason why we're here today. I'm going to be telling you how I go through my day briefly. I might not talk so much about um, what each supplement will do. And then the last thing is lifestyle changes. For us women, we must be very, very careful about our lifestyle. How much of gratitude do you have? How much of thanksgiving? How much of peace do you allow to come to yourself? How much of meditation? How much of, you know, um, other activities, fun, having fun, having to, you know, lifestyle changes generally. That's what will keep you. I, like I tell women, I say, I call myself and my husband home alone. We are home alone now. The children are catering for their own children and their own families and everything. And if we didn't mind our relationship, which is also part of lifestyle, while we were growing up, if we didn't, you know, mend, right now we won't still be friends. Right now we won't still stay alone, you know, we will be apart. So those four things, your diet, supplementation, mm -hmm. exercise, and lifestyle changes. Now, if I wake up every morning, first of all, I take my pro -B. That's my first product, my Pro-B. I take it in an empty stomach and then five minutes after in an empty stomach with like one full 75 liters of water, CL of water, I mean, not liter, 75 CL, okay? And then followed by my aloe vera gel. 
aloe vera gel depends on my mood from quarter to one glass. I take it every morning, okay? And then after that, I go out to do my exercise. I go out to work. I do prayer work every morning between one hour to two hours. And then I do my devotion and then I have my meal. And just before I have my meal, I take my vitalized women. I take my vitalized women just before I have my brunch. I eat twice a day. I call it brunch and then my dinner. So I take my vitalized women. And then after taking my vitalized women, I take my infinite fanning complex. This is absolutely very, very important because it's anti-aging. It has collagen and it helps remove every wrinkles. People always ask, how come you don't have wrinkles on your face? This is the secret infinite feminine complex, okay? That's one of the secrets. All right, so I just take it and then I take my active C. Okay, of course we know, I don't, I don't want to go through what they do. We can I'll actually Google it and the rest, but active C helps with cardiovascular health and, and things like that. So after that, of course, if I have my bath, I have my, all the personal care and all the rest I do, but I don't joke with my R3 factor because that's another anti-wrinkle and anti-aging products that we have in forever, our tree factor. That's the only cream that goes on my face. Or maybe I then put my infinite feminine serum to make sure that my neck everywhere is still, you know, very smooth and, and very good. And then I go on with my drinks, my RG and, and um, super green. These two kept, keeps me away from drinking any minerals, sugar dense minerals and things like that. I do it every day. And thanks to Mommy Oyemade, she's the one that actually encouraged me because at the time I was like, can someone just be taking these things every day? But every day now I take my RG, I take my super green with my aloe vera gel. I put it in a bottle and I just keep sipping it through the day, you know? So, and then in the night, of course, just before supper, I take my vitalized women again. I take my active C after the meal, and then comes my, my royal jelly just before I sleep. I just put it under my tongue, two tablets, and that will be it. I don't, I don't know if I still have enough time, but all these supplements have shown us some things they do for me, uh, like the aloe vera gel is because of digestion with pro B and also immune function. And again, a reduced inflammation and active C, aloe vera gel, they help with mental health, okay? When we talk about how are we coping, that's why I take those ones, okay? And then Aji also helps me to maintain my weight. I also take Gastinia and Lean just before I eat, you know? Um, so I look at my skin health, immune support, digestive system, making sure I don't allow any inflammatory things to take hold of me. I take all these supplements. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much for all that. Please, I hope everybody is noting that. I don't want to tell you our age. If I tell you our age, just note the product she said. Is it that you're using it or you're sending it to your moms? She's a grandma. She has seven children and five grandchildren. So don't joke with whatever it is that women here are talking to you about. So she has talked to you about the elderly women and, you know, um, and their welfare. So, Mrs. Olusoria, now let's look at the matured women, people between the age of 35 to 50. You know, they might say they are not elderly, they have not, they are still in their prime age. What are the things that they should be using, you know, as women that they can help themselves they are in their busy life? Thank you so much. You are muted, Ma. All right. Thank you, my sister, Iwande. Um, you know, I said I joined this business on earth ground. I had terrible sinuses. I was almost three times my size. I had terrible skin problems. So when people see me now and they say, oh, your skin is this and that, I just laugh. That's an investment. So I will come from that angle for every matured adult that you need to invest in your health and come from in a kind of self-love, you need to be conscious of your health because it's whatever you, you do now that will speak for you when you are of age. Like, you know, you can see uh, darling Pastor Chowam, see how she's looking. 
you know. So aside what our diamonds have said, if I when you ask me how many products I take, <laughs> I, I can't even count. I think from um, forever products, the only products I've not taken is vitalized for men. The drinks are awesome. <laughs> So we should take it from the area of regenerating because the body has the ability to heal itself. So when you give the right nutrients, God has given the body the ability to heal itself. So you can only support, try and support this body, we know, with supplements that will take care of the weak cells in your body. Because when, for example, if I, if I, if I want to, you know, do I, do the area of, antioxidants is very, very important. You need to detoxify every time. So for me, what I use then, as, because I don't want to, con um, to repeat what they have said, when I joined the business because of sinuses, my nose never went dry. I was very terrible. You know, you know when you are sneezing continuously, nonstop, I've seen ENT doctors and nothing came out of it. You know, they will give me, they gave me rules and regulations and after two weeks it's gone. And the area of skin, you know, I took Nizora, all those big, big Nizora soap and everything before I joined forever. I will use the soap, use the tablets, use the shampoo and you know, it will go and come back. But I must tell you, <laughs> I'll be 12 years in this business. And I can say it's 12 years of investment in my health. You know, you have to invest in your health because when you grow old, look at Mommy Achama, she's not important to any child. And that's one of my that's one of my prayers that in my old age, I will not be a burden to my children. Carrying uh, okay, she's having high blood pressure, she's having diabetes and all that. So that should be a mindset. Every matured and women should, every mature woman should emphasize on, should take note of. Because if you don't take care of your body, your cells, you don't regenerate, you don't allow your cells to regenerate themselves, then you might have issues with osteoporosis and all that. So for me, I don't joke with Femi Complex. In fact, I started using Femi Complex before it came to Nigeria. Immediately I heard about it they, because it has zinc, it has, you know, you're, you're, you're actually looking well, you know, it's like taking care of your body, beauty inside out. I don't joke with it. And I don't joke with calcium because I like to wear high heels. So to avoid osteoporosis and all that, all those issues with bones and all that, I don't joke with calcium. And you know our calcium has vitamin D. So it's, it's beautiful. You can't take too much of it. And it helps your bones. You can, you know, how many people can go down low and dance, you know, without any issues. So I take that. I don't joke with um, nectar because it helps with the urinary tract. It helps you, you know, aside, well, for the drinks, there's no drink I don't take. I think I, I'm as led by the spirit <laughs> because sometimes I can say, okay, this week I'm going for aloe gel. Next week I'm doing nectar and maybe bits and peaches and all that. So those products are awesome. Then I don't joke with absorbency. In fact, it's always in my bag, like a sweet, because when I had sinuses, I took forever products for two weeks and it was like it, it was... It removed all those problems. Waking up, sneezing, just went off totally. I didn't, you know, if I have small colds now, it's just maybe it's a, it's a, it's a warning sign, but not the one that I will, I will not be able to, you know, to, I'll be going around with handkerchief always sneezing and, you know, things like that. So absorbency is very good. It's antioxidant, good for your eyes, good for a lot of things. So I, in fact, there is no product like the RG, the super grain, you, you know, I call it concussion, wine concussion. You know, when you put, you even have pomestin bar. You know, they, I just love it. And an amazing product that I, I don't joke with at all, at any point in time, whenever, whatever, I must go with it is absorbency. You can imagine, I'm saying it again and again. It's, it's, no, it's good for the skin too. It gives us collagen, just like the family complex. You know, you take care because there are so many things. The even begins when you nourish your cells. That's where it begins. Because accumulation of 
toxins is what causes is the accumulation of toxins from pollution, from um, antibiotic, the steroids we take, all those things, the pesticide and all those things that we take growing up as matured ladies. And we lose a lot of blood. And when you lose a lot of blood during menstruation, you're losing calcium. That's why you must take calcium. Calcium is super. It helps you. And then vitalize for women, regenerates your cells because you just look younger. You, you, you look better, you know. So we have lovely products that could help. I will just advise I started as a smart user. And now I never knew there is, you know, there are lots to get from this amazing opportunity. So I must tell you that our products take care of this, uh, take care of this six major system. All our products take care of the six, eight major systems that we have. Is it gastro gastrointestinal? Is it um, our neurological? Is it cardiovascular? Is it uh, our immune? Is it uh, respiratory? Is it uh, urinary, eye and ears and endocrine? Whatever you can talk, our products take care of that. And when those things are well taken care of, then you are good. And when you grow old and become grandma, you know, you are just there. You are you're, you're energized. You are healthy and you'll not be a burden to any member of your family. I hope I've not spoken too much, but I think uh, Thank I would you like so to much. Talk. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. You. you have really done well. Thank you so much. We can go on and on. But I know that uh, for everybody that is watching, you are taking one or two things now. You can even take this recording and go and listen to it again. If these women you are looking at, you see their skin, the way they talk, they don't use walking stick. They are very smart women that you know we respect along the way. I will just, for me, I'm going to be talking about the younger generation. So between the age of 18 to um, to 25, 30. You know, you the young ones that are in school, the young, the newly married, you know, the nursing mothers. And you know, when you're young, you want to be attractive, you want to look good and all that. And you might not have as much money. So I recommend very nectar. Uh, Mrs. Volusia uh, talked about it. Very nectar is very good for women. And you know, young ladies, you know, because of infection here and there, you know, very nectar helps a lot with that. Menstrual pain, you know, very nectar really, really hard. Uh, I had a young lady that, you know, every time she's on uh, menses, mens it's always a problem. She doesn't even go out for three, four days. But then she, I, I introduced Berry Nectar and um, uh, another product to her. I think that's one that we, you know, but she's, t she's talked to the Berry Nectar. And then, you know, it was testimony. That's our major testimony. She keeps holding it. She went to school, NYC, and that's what she kept talking about. It just like it stopped, helped to stop. I don't know. Our body just started functioning the way it should, and then it stopped. So, you know, you want to, they want to, you want to be attractive. You know, you can also use the deodorant that's also relatively affordable so that you can smell nice. You know, we know what the deodorant does. Not, it's, an, it's not an, um, it doesn't stop, uh, um, your dirt is from coming up, but it helps to clean out and helps to blend your skin and all that. It has aloe vera in it. So I recommend that as well. And for everyone that, okay, you're moving towards the age of your 20s, your 30s, you know, looking good, tight, you know, stormy, look, uh, getting that shape. With our C9, we have a C9 product. We have a C9 product. I came into the business and the first product I used was the C9. I was bigger than this. I was a call in the corporate world. I was bigger than this. I had health issues, but the C9 was the first product. So I recommend for anybody that thinks that you're overweight, you're detoxified, you're heavy, you're all that. The C9 helps, you know, to detoxify. It helps to cleanse you. It helps to jumpstart a healthier lifestyle. I know at that age, some people don't even manage what they eat. You know, some people wait until they get to our stage, your 50s, before they start managing. But you can actually start a healthier lifestyle at a younger age so that you would not have to do so much. You know, if I have to live my life all over again, I would, that's what I would have done because I thought I was enjoying that time. But I was just killing myself gradually. And that was what happened that I had health issues. But with C9, you know, it actually helped to make me feel so clean, the level of energy. So for the younger ones, these are the things you need to do. You want to look good, you want to be better, you want to have that energy. I recommend the C9. 
okay? And the people that, you know, all this reproductive imbalance, you are married, you've been waiting, all that, try the C9 and have live a healthier life, you know? And the berry nectar, the deodorant, our tooth gel as well. Anybody, you can use that, you know? Some people, they even start, you can start the business with that, you know, all this put together and, you know, amazing products that we have here. We're not just recommending products. These are the products that we have used and you can see us looking good, you know, and, and that's what we recommend for you. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. So I, I see some questions coming in, but let us, we will answer your questions. Let us just go through this set again. Today is all about uh, digital, about technology. I want um, to start with, uh, who wants to go first now, Pastor Kamaka. Please advise the ladies how they can, your final, your words on them, how can they add technology to their business? How do you do it? How do you, uh, you know, we're across the world now. How do we, how do they inculcate technology into their business and how do they go about their next life with technology? Thank you. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, for me, uh, it's good you're asking me this because I was one of those that struggled um, with, te with technology. Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm what I used to call old school. Okay, I finished my master's as far back as in 1992, and I'm very meticulous about things I do, but I like seeing people. Um, I like one-on-one. -on -one. I wasn't so much into teching, but what, once I joined the business and I was asked to do certain presentations, I found out that I needed to learn. And once I started learning how to use the computer and do a lot of things, it helped me engage more with my children. So I always tell women, especially if you say you're a stay-at-home mom, it's a very dangerous thing to, to be at home and you're not developing yourself. Self-development is very important if you want to have good relationship with your children. Let's even leave uh, the business aspect aside. You want to be up to date with your kids. You want to be sure that your children don't make a mismint of you. You have to be up to date, know how to use your phone, know how to use the system, then you can help them. If not, your children will be getting advice from people online. They will feel you're totally out of it. They feel that you're so outdated that you have nothing to offer them. So one of the things that I had to do for myself is to start upgrading mentally, you know, start up upgrading my mind, wanting to be in sync with whatever is going on. At any time we get into, you know, whatever level, whatever it is that needs to happen. So I know that 2010, I started working on myself. How do I know? How do I use the computer? How do I use the system? I, I activated Facebook, even though I wasn't really, um, really using it. But I, I did the basic things I needed to do. I'm not somebody, if not for self-development, I wouldn't be online. I don't like my face anywhere. You know, tell me to come and do a video, forget it. Just forget it. I don't like it. Not that it's bad, just that it's not, it's not me. It's, it's just not me. But I found out that there are certain things that are necessary if you want to always be current. Then they're also necessary if you want to be an influencer. You want to be able to affect the lives of whoever it is that comes around you. You have to work on yourself. So what I tell people is personal development. What is it that you need at any given time? Right now, technology is a given. You have to know how to use technology to do anything. Forget about even business. Your children are using technology for school. So you need to know what to do to be able to help them. Okay? I said I'm old school. Not because I'm... Um, what, it's, not, it's not so much the age, but the mindset. So I'm working on myself. In August of this year, I'm going to be 54. So it's not as if I'm too, I'm, don't, don't forget this face, all right? We are, I'm, I'm, I'm not too young. And by now, maybe I would have been with like Mrs. Achonwa, I would have had a grandchild. Okay, it took me seven years to have the first one. So I know how old my first daughter is now. So it's not as if, I'm that I'm too young, but I found out that the more you develop yourself, the younger you are. It's not the face, it's not the looks, it's the mind. It's the mind. So what did I have to do for myself? I got somebody to sit down with me with a laptop and teach me some basic things. So for those of us that say, I don't know how to use this, I don't know how to do that, you get somebody to teach you. And I paid for him to teach me first time. I paid for him to teach me second time. Third time, I paid for him to sit down and watch me. I said, don't touch anything. 
I want to learn how to use this. I want to learn how to use that. And I paid for it. The last time he came, I didn't pay. I bought him lunch. And then he watched me just kind of go out there. So I found out that once I learned how to use the computer, it was easier for me to learn how to use my phone. Whatever it is I need to do, learn how to use this. So social media business, I'm most, I'm most comfortable with WhatsApp. Remember I said I'm not so I'm not so much of an online person, so to speak. I'm on Facebook, but WhatsApp is my best. But I find out that WhatsApp limits you. It limits you to those that know you. It limits you to those that you have already met. I'm working on Facebook. I do some things there. I'm into it. Anything I don't know, I learn it. So for me, I would say to every woman out there, make effort to self-develop. Whatever it is, you know that it's good for you. Learn it. If you don't learn it for yourself, learn it because you want to be up to date with your children. You want your children to respect you. You want to have that point of discussion with your husband. You know, a lot of men, they listen to news. They're up to date with certain things because they are working. They're working outside the home. They go for trainings. They develop themselves. You know, like Mr. Achoma said that they are home alone. Very soon, we are going to be home alone. If you are not up to date mentally, you find out that you and your husband will be growing apart. You will be going forward and you are more like you're backward. If you're not moving forward, you're actually moving backwards. You want to be able to do certain things for yourself. So I would say social media, I am learning. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on a journey. I'm doing a lot on WhatsApp, a lot, a lot. I'm making money on WhatsApp. I make money on WhatsApp. I started doing something on Facebook in 2020 during the COVID year. Actually, I'm not like her. She has like 551,000 followers. I've actually almost 3,000 followers. It's not that I'm, I'm not doing that much, but I'm doing something. So I'm just saying, do something. <laughs> Every one of us, we need to do something. Just start wherever you are. Learn it. Learn on the go. But technology, my God, we have to digit it all. We have to digit all. Very, that's the way to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that because I know a lot of people, they're like, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this uh, computer. All these children of nowadays, social media, blah, blah, blah. But meanwhile, when I realized the money that came in during COVID, oh my goodness. Um, Madam Machua, you are a great testimony for this 51,000 followers on social media for a grandma. Your mates are at home doing, just sitting down, waiting for children to send money. You are, you are doing it. And when I watch you, you are very comfortable at what you do online, as if that is where you belong. Please, my, encourage us. Encourage the people, your aid mates, and even the young ones be, coming behind you. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Yewande. Well, uh, Daimono Kamaka, she's already completed it all. I only want to drop that it's never late. It is not too late. Okay? 51,000 followers is actually not so good. Younger people will do far better than that. Uh, um, and I want to say that I decided during COVID to just take the bull by the horn and start. And maybe I'll briefly give my testimony, okay? Um, like I always do. I didn't know anything about social media. In fact, I used to run away from Facebook because we had this closed mind about it that it's for people who are sinning, you know, all those things. When you, ah, don't open there. When you open there, you know what will happen to you. You know, they will keep following you with naked people and all that. So I hardly went to Facebook. I only started Facebook. I think one of my children um, sent something and I needed to look at the thing on Facebook. So I went to Facebook. That's how I, before COVID, I entered Facebook, okay? But during COVID, thank God to forever because you know, the self-development is one of the things you gain when you join Forever Living. Now, remember, when you leave your brain redundant, you're going to go into dementia very soon if you don't know it. So, but Forever, if you're a business owner in Forever, no matter what type, you know, there's always seminars, there's always training, there's always encouragement, there's always self-development, motivational speaking, things like that, whether it's on WhatsApp or anywhere. I thank God for Forever Living Company, okay? So during the COVID, we had this training from, I think it was from Netherlands that they were having the training and a 25 year old girl came up and said she was um, selling products worth four case credit on one, one of our broadcast meetings that most of our broadcast, she will sell maybe like one, two to four case credit. And she was only into skincare. 
I listened to her 1 p.m. She started 1 p.m. and ended 2 p.m. Um, on Sunday afternoon during COVID lockdown, we were all at home. And I'm like, sell four case credit. So what you, what are you sitting down here doing? On Facebook, sell four case credit. Those of us that are doing the business, you understand what four case credit was. For her to give that testimony, I knew that was it for me. During COVID, we were all separated. And, you know, everybody, the children were around, the younger ones were around. So I stayed in the sitting room where I was and I shouted to my third son. I said, JJ, she said, yes, mommy, are you hearing me? I'm doing, going live on Facebook tomorrow, 1 p.m. He, he laughed as if to say, maybe something is going wrong. So he quickly came out and said, mommy, did I hear you right? I said, yes. I don't know what they do on Facebook. You're going to show me what they do on Facebook here. I don't know how they do it, but I hear that she said she would do a poster and send her, go and do a poster for me. You will send it out, carry my phone now. I know my Facebook is there. Send it out. And tomorrow, 1 p.m., I'm going live. He laughed again. I said, so what are you going to do on Facebook? <laughs> Let me hear you now. <laughs> because you have to tell me what you're going to do before I do the post. And I said, the story of my life. He said, there. I said, just put it there, the story of my life. We met. This is how I went on Facebook the first time. 1 p.m. on Monday, I look for where to stay. I remember she put forever products around her. My kitchen was the only place where I could sit down and the worktop will have my products. So I put my products behind me on the worktop. I sat on the table, my kitchen table, and I put the products, all of them there. I didn't know how to, I didn't even know how to post on Facebook to tell you, I was that bad. I didn't know how to send a post on Facebook. So he taught me, he put it for me and said he will press live that once he presses live, I should start speaking. That's how I went on Facebook live. And the story today is the testimony we are hearing. And I now went back. I went backward. From doing my first life, I now contacted a coach that started teaching me during COVID lockdown on, you know, online, using Zoom and things like that. So what am I saying? It's not late. Everybody here, carry your phone. Go on Facebook if you know how to go on Facebook. Go there and press life. And just say anything. Story of your life. Say it there. <laughs> Just say the story of your life, how you got to, into forever, how you started using forever products, what it has done. Don't mind anybody looking at you. Don't look at them because, of course, nobody is even looking at you at that moment. Whether your grammar is right or wrong, it doesn't matter. That's why I love Facebook. They're not looking for tush. They're not looking for to look, look at. There are people who want to hear whatever you're saying. I have I've trained women now, tens of women. I have people who are selling rice and beans in the market that are my downline and they are going live on Facebook. I have those that are going, women, they are cooking. They are going live on Facebook. I have those that before they will make one, in fact, there's even, there are some that my husband will say, tell that one, leave English alone, use vernacular. So can you imagine And these women are doing well? And the exciting thing is that they are beginning to do their case credit every month. Even if they are not doing one, they are consistent with one case credit or one and a half or things like that. So my advice to every one of us, the truth is that the in this 21st century business, social media and digital marketing is it. Even if you're selling, whatever you're selling, even if you're not doing forever business, I have someone I coach to sell PAP on Facebook during COVID lockdown. PAP, and I mean PAP, and she did very well. Her PAP now goes to US, UK. So we can do it. If I can, I tell you if I can, because not only did I have closed mind, I was even mocking those who were doing it. You know, you can have closed mind and just stay in your little corner, but I was mocking those who were doing it. So if I can do it, you can do it. Start now. And I mean, take your phone and go live immediately. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if you just see her there, she's so comfortable. I say, you know, like the operas of this world in our doing our own thing, you really love it. And there's nobody, there's no elderly person, nobody that will follow her and listen to her that will not know. And they will know that she just that how many years, less than three years, you look so yeah. much like you know, a professional. One thing about digital is the more you do, the more you get better at it, the more the confidence level. Now, Mrs. Olusoya. Do you, do you even use digital at all? Do you have anyone that is your specialty? You know, I know the mention WhatsApp. Which ones do you use? Which do you support? 
you know, for women across the world, what can she, can they do? Because technology is the future. Everybody needs yeah. to buy into it. Yes, I want to start from where our mommy actually, you know, stopped that it's never too late. And I want to thank God for forever. I would have been a local champion at Shomolu printing area. I would have been there. But thank God for this amazing opportunity. You know, I never knew I could you know, do Zoom. What's my own? I don't even know. I have my children. Nobody's in the house again. Yeah, my last boy got married last year. And so it's like they were even making, they, were, they don't even have my time. My own children, they don't, they were not even at home. And when they were at home, they had their own business things that they are doing. They don't even have my time. So I had to learn. I had to learn. I, I stopped depending on them. Um, in fact, just last month, I started TikTok. I sent me TikTok. <laughs> you know, so I want to uh, encourage women out there that we should learn the power of self-development. Is, is is high. You know, I for example, last during COVID, thank God, you know, sometimes the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. I must say COVID has worked for a lot of us. It has really worked for us because that was what made us to think. That was what gave us a new mindset, a new mind shift that we could, you know, sometimes when I see myself doing some things on, on laptop, I say, me, eh? Ooh, me local champion, just like Pastor Kamaka said, old school lapé, you know, that's who I was, I never knew a lot of, even though I went to a computer school. But you know, this issue of using online um, platform, using Facebook and all that, I learned them during COVID by by force, and I'm enjoying it. And I, I want to go further now. Mommy has encouraged me. I don't know. I still have some little fears. I don't know. But now, with what you have said, hey, I'm going live, live, live all the time now. I've done that before, but I've not been consistent. I want to be. I want to be very, um, very um, truthful in that aspect. I was. But when it comes to WhatsApp, I've. In fact, my WhatsApp status is my strength. It does a lot for me. I. I. If, if there's anything, I move product with broadcasts, with a lot of things I train on, on, on lap, my laptop. And I thank God for this opportunity because I could work with my team members. We could have our trainings. I could prepare. I could do slide me, slide. Hey. You don't know what this opportunity has done for people like us. I want to encourage women out there. Don't worry, just try it. You know, when, when the, the guy that taught me how to do TikTok. Just, it, it wasn't up to five minutes. Every other thing I'm doing on that TikTok night, and most of these things, they can help, you know, you can easily understand if you take time out to, to look at it and check this, what's this doing, the button here. It's self-explanatory. They could guide you easily to know more. So I want to encourage us that we should learn, you know, try and learn more. Look at me. I did a one-year course. We East Institute of Integrative for Integrative Nutrition, New York, online for one year. And I got my certificate. Me. Ah. So I, I want to encourage all women that we should not stop learning. We should read. Aside digital and all that, we should learn to read more. If you are doing a particular business, learn more. Learn how to do it better. You can actually be better doing it. So I, I, I'm using more of um, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. I do Facebook once in a while, but I think <laughs> now I want to go like mama. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So you see, if you're afraid of digital, you're not the only one. We just do it afraid. You know, I started in 2000, November 2019. I remembered very well. You know, I'd, I'd left banking and um, I wanted to start my uh, consulting business. But, you know, I, I didn't want to rent a business. I didn't want to rent a shop and all that. So I wanted to do more of online, but I didn't know how to do that. So like uh, Pastor Achunwa said, I, I, I got somebody to teach me how to go live. And initially, I remember that first time I was sweating. I sent my children out. I was 
I was like, the generator should be on, everything should be so You will definitely have all those issues, the butterfly in your tummy when you want to start. And you know, we have 70, over 75 platforms where social media platforms, and we're not even talking about social media. Thank God everybody now knows Zoom. You know, Zoom initially we're having that issue as well. You know, but all of us have gotten used to it now. So the, you choose one, decide on the one you want to choose, depending on where your audience is, depending on uh, where your clients might be, what, which one is convenient for you first. Like uh, Mrs. Olson, I said, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is great. You know, there's the LinkedIn. That's the number one for professionals that I work with. There's LinkedIn, there's TikTok, like she said, there's so many of them that you can use. And I know that, you know, um, for me, like when I said, it was as if I was putting myself out there. I was exposing myself. I was um, any little mistake. My English, I'll be like very conscious and not for your words. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. It was amazing. You mean somebody was listening to me? You mean I could make that impact? Then you now see that you have like a thousand people watching and listening to you. Please let us digital. The, the, like we said, the theme for this year, uh, International Women's Day is innovation, technology and innovation, you know, pushing equity for women. Digital, do everything on digital. Even your phone, the market woman has a phone. Initially, you know, a long time ago, they didn't have phones, we didn't have phones. The with the future, technology is going to be the only way. Now, we're in Nigeria, that is that's where most of us are from. And they're going, we're going e-cash, e-cash, e-cash. I had somebody that I knew that said she couldn't do transfer on her phone. So during the during that period, oh my goodness, she actually suffered because she had money in the bank, but she did not have, she couldn't do the transactions. And I said, you see why you need to actually make effort to do all these things. There are advantages to technology. I know that people, some people are afraid of the disadvantage and all that, but we need to begin to use it. We need to begin to try. Just like Mrs. Olusoya has said, now she'll go further. This this meeting as well is supposed to encourage somebody, encourage a woman out there to motivate you, to bring you out, to be the best that you can be. Try something else. And with our business, the way Forever has done is, with your e-commerce, you sit at home, you make your orders anywhere they are in the world. You can you can drop your, your product. People, customers from across the world can buy products from you. You can make money, you can be healthy. And if you decide that you're not going to use social, imagine if, um, Mrs. Achuma decided that she's old, she cannot do it and all that. She will not be, she's a reference point for us in forever, for, uh, in forever today. I always say, if she can do it, I can also do it, you know? So it is very, very key. Let all of us choose the platform that we are comfortable with. You need to start with something. You know, the funny enough, before I, I round up and then you can begin to ask your question, I, for, I was doing an exam at a particular period in time, so I did not post because of my WhatsApp status is 24 hours. That's why we have WhatsApp status 24 hours. So I always put my daily, either an advice or my day, anything I do on a daily basis, I put it there. And though maybe for like three or four days, I did not post anything. And you know, somebody that didn't even used to talk to me just sent me a message, Madam, are you okay? I said, what happened? She said, they have not posted in the last few days. I was like, my goodness, somebody's watching. And she had this person that has not spoken to me. It's one of our customers in, you know, the bank in those days. And you can imagine how that means to me. For me, on my WhatsApp group alone, I have only at least 300 people that check my status every day. At least 300 that I can see. So that's, and that's how I also move my business. I do Facebook. I'm more of an um, social media person. But we all need to begin to look at it. The older generation find it more difficult, but in, I bet it with you, with our business, with all other businesses, whatever your area of life, if you're listening and you don't know how to start, just start somewhere. Tell somebody to cheat you. Just start. Please press that button like Pastor Achiwa said, and then you just start with the flow. Make the first mistake. You know, right now, even if I make a mistake, I will laugh at myself online. Ah, or maybe if, like the light goes, I say, oh, you know, you know, I, it doesn't scare me anymore because three years now, three and a half years, it's not like I used to be, oh, everybody, you must keep quiet. No, no, no. Even if I'm in a noisy area, I'll tell you, sorry, I'm in a noisy area. It makes you more real. Mm. It makes you more real. And we need to, we need to be, you know, be ready to put a bit of ourselves out there because people are out there actually, they want to do e-business, e, e -business. they want to buy online, 
but there are a lot of fake people online. There are a lot oh. of fraudsters online. So when they, they follow you for a period of time, they see how you are, they see how natural you are, and that's how we get business going. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate this session. So let's get some questions. There are so many questions that have been seen all over the place. Then they will, please, um, Madam Kelechi, can you help me work on that? I know that they were asking about products. It was the, the first question I saw was directed to Pastor Okamaka that the product that you use. Um, so please, uh, uh, everyone that's watching, please send in your questions now. We can look at it before we round up. Send in your questions. What are the products that you use for your daughter? What are the products that you use for hypertension and your daughter's condition? Thank you. Okay. Um, for me, initially, the first, the initial products I used, I used aloe vera gel and cardio health. Because aloe vera gel, sorry, cardio health should go with cardio health. I'm uh, sorry, cardio health should go with aloe vera gel. So one can, one pack of cardio health is minimum of four cans of aloe vera gel. So I did aloe vera gel, cardio health, Arctic C omega three, and then garlic thyme. I did the herbal tea. So those were the five products I used for a while. Then there wasn't any agi. Of course, when I was um, taking the supplements, I was still on my BP drugs, okay? I took, I was taking Aldomet and Moderetic. I didn't get off my drugs by myself. My doctor weaned me off my drugs. I cut down on salt. I started exercising daily, more of aerobics. I was doing dance aerobics. And I had to work on my mind. You know when Pastor Choma talked about the attitude of gratitude? For so many years, my name on WhatsApp was Grateful Heart. I am so passionate about being grateful. So once you once you you have that mind of contentment, it helps you with you know the external pressures. So I did my medicals. Gradually, my doctor weaned me off the drugs. The minute um, Agi Plus came in, I well sorry, I didn't suck cardio, but <laughs> I moved to Agi Agi Plus. So Agi Plus is a regular for me, but I know that within six months. My BP normalized. I drink fat. I can drink up to four a day. Nothing. My BP is normal since 2008. So I believe that if you do it, those lifestyle changes and take the products, your BP will regulate. Then for my daughter, we did bits and peaches. Pomestine power is a powerful antioxidant. And then she was on Forever Kids and Absorbent C. Those were the things. I did garlic once in a while. I didn't do it too much because for her, I needed to open the garlic. I needed to cut it open and then, you know, put in a, a spoon. I used to mix garlic and bee propolis for her. I would, you know, I would kind of um, uh, crush it. I would do garlic, bee propolis and honey. Then I, I, I gave her those ones as if it was medicine. So she would take it as if she's taking a drug. But the other one was more like her regular. And I didn't, well, we didn't even realize when the, the sinuses, everything stopped. Because before then, that my daughter, was well, she was antisocial, she used to fight. I touch her and she whoops, whoops you one. We didn't know that she wasn't breathing with her nose. I used to try to force her mouth closed. When you try to force it, she will fight with you. And then she would go, you know, I didn't realize that her both her nose, she wasn't breathing with them at all, at all. But grant and then so and every time she had constant running nose, constant. When you try to clean her nose, she had wounds all over the front of her her nose, and they were giving her medication. When they give her those antibiotics, it will dry out for a while. Two weeks later, it comes out back with force, and she didn't allow us to clean the nose. So she had this thing that other children would say, mm, "Dirty girl, dirty girl," and she will not allow you to touch the nose. It was that bad. So by the time we started doing the absorbency, um, forever kids, for mesting power, and for mesting power, she used to take it to school. That was her juice. She just used to call it her juice. Then we used to do the bits and peaches. My God, one day the older one said, Mommy, no longer have you running nose. That was when I looked at it, I said, God, my God, it just dried out. And that's how it just dried out, you know. But when she needed to wear braces, maybe years later on they told us that we needed to check the adenoids and remove it so that she could you know she, we could wear the braces she had a tongue ring but it was no longer disturbing her so those are the products we used for my daughter thank you thank you so much thank you so much and while you were at it 
we have a breaking news. We have a promo that the CSM has just approved for women. So today, today, any product that you buy at the product center, you get one free forever daily in your purchases. That is courtesy for women. So bravo, kudos to our CSM. Women, we have that. But any product you buy at all from the product center, you will get forever daily just for today on your purchases. Women are encouraged to go and buy. You can buy online. You don't have to go there. Send a message now and make your own order for your daily. You know, forever daily, right? That's the multivitamins that we use on a daily basis. Everybody needs it. It has, you know, it has like everything that we need. Okay, fantastic. So that's a special promo for women. Off women. Thank you so much, Midas, Mr. Daniel. We appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. So let's see. Before we round up, let's see. If there's any question, please drop it. Whatever is true, please encourage our women, our, our panelists. They've done so well. They've done so well for themselves, for us. Thank you so much. Okay, so someone is asking a question. I've been inspired. Okay, so I see I've been inspired. For the person that joins uh, late, maybe you can take, there'll be a, there's a recording of this as well. You can take the recording and then you can use it as well. Any other question because before we talk about the announcement? So we, we still have um, a couple of programs lined up for us. And I'm sure that, you know, you enjoyed this program because we have, what we have come to do is to encourage you as women from different walks of life, from different stages of life, for you to know that you can actually, you don't have to be depressed. You don't have to feel uh, bogged down that it is only you against the world. No, look at all the women here. We're looking good. We're married. We are, we, you know, we have grandmas, we have moms, we have people with busy lives. See pastor, 32 years, 27 years, architect, you know, people that are busy and they are still able to do their forever business i was still looking this good trust me it's the product it's not only makeup we can wipe up our makeup now and then you still see that you know see my uh, mommy Achua now you see grandma no makeup uh -huh. and see how our face is fresh that is it you look better you feel better with our product even your mood you know like women you know we always have moods in different areas mood if there's no product you buy today for vitalize for women, which is one product that cuts across almost all the sec almost all the different categories. Vitalize for women, you must get. Okay, so let's just quickly look at the questions before we take further announcements. Any questions from the um, from the product centers? I know that the product centers are also logged in. Please let us know if there's any. Okay, so somebody is asking for your social media and so that we can learn from you. I think that is okay to give it now, Madam Achumwa. Can you give it to them? Can you, do you have, uh, can you say? Okay, Aging with Grace. If you just go to Facebook, Aging, Aging with Grace. If you just go to Facebook and type Aging with Grace, you will get it. Let me see if I can drop it on the chat section. Okay. If Thank you. So, so you heard that it is called Aging with Grace on Facebook. Just go to Facebook. You can't miss her face. You see her. She is like a pretty woman. You see it there. There's a question here. I don't know who will answer it. It says, if you're on water therapy, should you take water before taking any of the supplements such as aloe vera gel or do some of, do some of the products have allergy? I think Pastor Kamaka, she wants to answer that. Who wants to answer that? Do you take? Did you get the question? Okay, um, I know that they said. Okay, I know that some people um, react to aloe vera, not not aloe vera gel. They react to aloe vera, but it's just a very small segment of people, very very small. And um, we advised also if you want to take bee pollen, a bee product, that start with a quarter. But what that, what that simply means, not that you can never take it, but it just means that your body needs to ease in gradually. So if, if, if you say you have any kind of allergies, it's just to take the bee pollen, break it into four, take, take a quarter, then take it before you know it, your body actually um, normalizes. So for me, over the years, the people that said um, they react, Okay, like somebody says she reacts to royal jelly. That means you react to bee products. And that means if you ever have a bee sting, that would be dangerous for you. 
So it's something you have to be very, very alert. Anybody who reacts to bee products would, in fact, enter what they call the anaphylactic shock if a bee should ever sting you. So it's something, it's not something. So what you do if you react to um, bee products is to actually drink our gel. If you drink gel, gel will help your body regulate against allergies. Our products are actually very good for allergies. Because the minute you're able to build, boost up your immunity, then when you have any allergic reaction, definitely, if you, maybe some, if something bites you, something that's supposed to break out into rashes, you will not have it as bad. It's just that when you say people have taken a um, vaccine against chicken pox, against certain things, they could have the chicken pox, but they will not enter into shock. It's not going to kill them. I don't know. It's just like, okay, well, let's, let's look at COVID. Um, taking the COVID vaccine does not eliminate ever having it. It just means that this person could have it, but it's not going to be fatal, okay? So for our products, if you have allergies, if you take our aloe vera gel, over time, it will boost your immunity. If you react to um, uh, bee products, just start with the, a, a quarter. Maybe for that royal gel, maybe don't start with royal gel. You go to our bee pollen, start taking quarter, 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 because royal um, bee pollen actually helps you reverse allergies. That's what I would, I would advise for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we have a lot of questions. And well, don't worry, we'll take your questions. We have a few more minutes. To do this. So somebody said, and I repeat again, if you are on water therapy, should you take the water before the aloe gel or take the aloe gel before the water? Who wants to answer that? Okay, so um, for how I do mine, I take aloe vera gel before water. And also aloe vera gel lasting at night because, you know, because of the cleansing nature and all that. It's better for you to take it and give some minutes before you take the water. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's what I say. You take the aloe vera gel first, give it some minutes before you take your water. Okay, are your products safe for breastfeeding mom? Most of the products that you can take during pregnancy, they are also safe for breastfeeding mom. Like um, if you've not been taking aloe vera gel before you get pregnant, it's good to avoid it. But any products you were taking before, during pregnancy, the, you can take it while breastfeeding, excepting the weight loss products like Garcinia, Lean. So those are the ones um, one might need to avoid. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Somebody said that you mentioned, we should mention deodorant for every woman. We mentioned it, but she wants us to re-emphasize that, you know, because women actually use a lot of um, um, antiperspirants, and you know, our, the, with aluminum salt, it deadens, it blocks the um, sweat from coming out, so the sweat keeps going back, but our deodorant does not do that. Yeah. It allows you to sweat, but you will not smell. So over a period of time. So we have the Forever Aloe Shield. Every woman should have that. Buy it for your children. I, I got one for my daughter so that the earlier they start, the better. There was one person that bought the deodorant and said, oh, I used it after two weeks. I was still smelling. You have been using this other one that you have clogged so much in your in, in the body for a long time. It will take a while yeah. for, the, for it to ease out. And that's why we told her that you should continue and then you should get better if she's moving over. So that's good. One person, someone is asking, Bridget is asking, what sorry, do you yeah, recommend okay. for also? Uh, sorry, please, I just wanted to add something eh, to what Mrs. Achonwa yeah. said. When, when, you when, when you have a, a woman that says she's breastfeeding, you know some women, when they are breastfeeding, they gain a lot of weight or they have hypertension, they have some health issue or health concern. What, normally, what I normally advise them is, you, I know in Nigeria they do um, exclusive for six for six months. That's that's not progressive. It, the the world has moved on. If you do exclusive for four months and you've introduced your baby to something extra, okay, because definitely at that point the baby needs more to be able to see it and all of that. Then you can give a two hour gap. If you want to start introducing supplements, for some of them, I tell them, you know what? In the morning, express. You can express the breast milk so that it doesn't conflict with you staying healthy. Because some women are breastfeeding and they're actually ill. 
And once they are ill, they are still taking their medication. And this baby is getting those drugs from the medication they are uh, from the what they are taking. So I tell them express in the morning and then do your routine. Then even if you're if you want if you don't want to express, give a two hour gap after breastfeeding. You know, find a way to time when you breastfeed your baby. If your baby can have timing, breastfeed. Give a two hour, sorry, take your supplements after breastfeeding. Make sure there is a two hour gap between your supplements and the next feeding. You find out that there is no conflict whatsoever because the supplements, your body would have absorbed it, done what it needs to do before you, you, you plant for breastfeeding again. But ordinarily, I tell them to express if they can, especially when the baby has started eating other um, foods so that if they have a health issue, they need to address then they can um, do that. And the lady that said she um, took royal jelly and reacted to it, she said she has taken B pollen and she had a, still had a reaction to royal jelly. So maybe after now, maybe she could let us know what is the reaction. Some people say they have reacted. I want to understand. When you say you have an allergy, my God, you have broken into rashes or maybe something is choking you. Not when you've taken it and maybe your body didn't just quite gel with it. Some people put uh, royal jelly under their tongue and then their body doesn't have any problem. If I put royal jelly under my tongue, it actually burns my tongue for me. So I swallow royal jelly. I don't put it under my tongue and I get the result I need. So maybe this person should check what does she really mean by that she reacted. Thank you. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Okay. So I, there are a couple of questions. I'm going to make them. A lot of people want to learn how to go live. Someone said, I'll try. That means you have not been joining our social media trainings. Well, we, every week we have social media trainings. And because we have a lot of people, like three or four people talking about how to go live now, we'll tell the social media team so that they can actually take you through before we do it regularly. We have uh, um, SK and a lot of us that can take you through on that. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't take so much time. Okay, now there's a question here that makes me smile because this was my situation. She says, I got the clean nine because I have irregular menstrual cycle and hormonal imbalance. Please, how can you advise me about the product? And what should I do alongside the product? And will, will uh, and I say, how active is it, ma? Okay, so I joined, it, I joined this business in February, 2018. And I had hormonal imbalance and I, it led to fertility issues. I had regular menses that it could be only three years, three times in a year or four times in a year that I was in my menses. So it was really disrupting my, uh, my flow. I had IUI, IVF. It didn't work for me. The first product that I was given was C9. And so you're on the right path that you have the C9. It will do, at least I'm sure, 50% of the job, a lot of detoxification, a lot of things in your body that are not, you know, that are not in the right place. So it's the first thing. And then we now have some products that helps with hormonal balance. You have heard about the um, Vitalize for Women, the Royal Jelly. There are so many of them like that. Whoever invited you to this, um, to this um, program, you can talk to the person. The person can give you more advice, but you are on the right path. The C9 is very, very good. It helps me a lot. And that's what I keep preaching today. Hormonal imbalance, especially for women um, that had uh, irregular uh, irregular menses and hormonal imbalance, you know, the, the C9 is very good. So please go ahead and do the C9. You begin to see the changes as well. Okay, so another question that I see. So someone is saying we should talk about ulcer. We're rounding up now. We're rounding up just three or more, four more questions and then we're good to go. Someone is asking about the products for ulcer. Please disclaimer, just we need you to know that our products are not orthodox medicine. And then these are supplements that are like food that you need to eat over a period of time that will help your body to begin to function as it should. So please who wants to talk about products for ulcer. Okay, for ulcer, the person should get aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is very good. Like we said, they are food in capsules. You're not supposed to do away with your medicine if the doctors have already given you medicines to take. But I have a testimony on ulcer. I used to have ulcers a lot. And um, aloe vera gel, B-propolis, Pro-B, and Imublend helped me. 
So I took them for a period of like three months until I stopped having all those um, the wounds healed and I was okay. And that's why I opted today. I still take my aloe vera gel and probiotic, not because I'm having any for eight years now and I've not, since I joined forever, three months after I joined forever, I said bye-bye to all, so that's the truth about it. So, but for me to have good gut flora, I take my pro probiotic and then of course aloe vera gel is like a drink everyone should drink every day. If you want to prevent all manner of ailments and be healthy and be in your optimal health. So aloe vera gel, probiotic, propolis and blend would help. But just plan to take it for a period of like three months. And remember, don't do away with your medicine. If the doctors have given you medicine, take it alongside your medicine. These products will give your body what it needs to heal itself. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Mrs. Olusha, I have not heard from you. How can you use the deodorant for kids? I use, I use it for my girl of 12 years. Can she use it? Is it safe? Or say for a 10 year old girl, can she use it? Please go ahead and help us answer that. Uh, deodorant is safe for everybody, even men. Safe for everybody. You know, it's not, you're not going to, you're going to sweat, but you're not going to smell. You know, so it's very, very safe for everybody. Whether you're young. And they should actually, you're... sorry, they should actually start earlier because it's, it's very, very safe before the puberty. Very. It's better for them to start so that they won't have to have that order. Like from eight, nine, it's safe for yeah. them. I give it to my grandchildren. Once they are like eight, nine, they start taking, they start using the shield deodorant. Mm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. Two more questions. Two more questions. Um, okay. Uh, if I achieve my dream of C9, should I continue with it or stop taking it but maintain a healthy lifestyle? What's that. I take, I do clean nine program three times a year <laughs> or four times at least. That's the least too. So it's um, <laughs> it's good for you to take clean nine. If you're taking clean nine for whatever reason, you can repeat it up to three, four times a year. I do so too. I do clean nine not less than three times a year. And another thing why I love clean nine is that there's no time I do clean nine. My skin comes out like yeah. a newborn baby. And you know, I look, I do clean eye sometimes because of my skin. I love the way I look after seeing eye. You know, toxins are the things that make us to look to have sickness and all that. So I I love to do seeing eye. I do it a lot. Okay, this has turned to product training, product session. <laughs> yes, we, we have these issues. We can't run away from it, right? So the last one I would take is. Please, what can one use for fibroid situation under the uterus muscle? Under the uterine muscle. The thing is this, please, whoever is asking that question, one of the things I say is when you do a scan, number one, did they write life-threatening myoma? You know, the position of a scan is not so much the issue. I know that when it's inside the uterine, people have bulky uterus and they have this heavy bleeding with clots and all that. But the position is not so much the problem as, uh, sorry, where it, whether it's inside the uterus or outside the uterus and all of that, except if you're already for childhood mm -hmm. and inside the uterus, fine. But you want to be sure that it's not a life-threatening um, issue for now so that you know what to actually do whether you have the time for our products to do the shrinking our products will shrink the fibroid but we need to know the sense of urgency and it shrinks it whether it's inside the wall outside the wall or in, inside the uterus the, the products will do it anywhere because you know aloe vera gel aloe vera as a product you know penetrates the seven layers of your skin so anywhere anything is if it wants to address it it can address it so find out um, what is it the problem if you say what are the products for me i always like knowing the other things do you have a bulky uterus is it just that fibroid how many are they what is it if not on a general note then you have to ask yeah do, are you do you have ulcer because some of the products we use for fibroid, the ulcer would scream at it. 
So normally I tell people address something that could be a complication before you get to this. But I know that for fibroid on a general note, and that's why I said on a general note, berry nectar, very good for fibroid. Garlic thyme, any form of growth, any growth at all, garlic goes to shrink or cause it to die. Cardio, you know, the cardio health is amazing because of that COQ10. Some people get it from the Forever Daily that is on promo right now. Forever Daily has COQ10, okay? And I know I prefer Forever Daily to uh, Multimaca. Multimaca has COQ10 too. Why I don't like Multimaca for fibroid is that, yes, a hormonal imbalance can cause fibroid. But the thing is this, if you keep boosting the estrogen, as the person has fibroid, the fibroid will keep growing. So instead of it shrinking, it will get bigger if you start taking things like multi or vitalize. All right. So I would rather you go for daily, which would help the hormones, but still has the COQ10, or you go for cardio um, health in that regard. I also give Garcinia Plus. Garcinia Plus is a fat burner. It burns fat in the any kind of loose fat or even muscle fat. And it would help you reduce the sugar um, level in your body. It will also help you suppress how much you eat because the more you eat, the more the fibroid grows. So I do that. But I said this on a general note and you'd have to do that over time. Cut off sugar and some other Thank things. You yes, so that's, uh, that's thank you what so I want so to if say. You have so here, put the fire emoji Say thank you to our panelists. Thank you. Thank you. They've taken their time out of their busy schedule to answer our questions. If you still have more questions, you know, you can you can contact the person that sent you here. And also uh, for the person with the C9, we always recommend that you don't do it alone. You do it with a group. So contact the person that sold it to you. If there's a link or a group that is going to do it, makes it easier and makes it better for you. Okay, so we have a couple of announcements now. But again, there was good news while we were here. The CSM, which is our number one man in Forever Nigeria, has approved that anybody that makes any purchase today, is it anybody or any woman? <laughs> okay, we don't mind sharing. Anybody that makes purchase today from the product center gets a free Forever Daily, free Forever Daily, only for today, free Forever Daily. So once you get off here, do your, 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 your request and then you will see a forever daily in your product. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. So I have a couple of news. For the people that are asking about social media, how to go live, so I have a good news for you. We have social media. We have social media training tomorrow. You see now, social media forever is always thinking about you. So it's either you're coming and we have a lot of old how do you call it? ancestors in on online? A lot of people like Pastor Chiwa and uh, Pastor Okamaka online, you know, that in their fifties and uh, Mrs. and they are finding it difficult with social media. So because of you, we are going to be doing much of social media tomorrow. Please join us tomorrow, 11 a.m. The Zoom webinar will be will be posted, will be sent to you the same way you got this one. I saw so a lady that was talking about that she's from Ghana. The same way you got this link, tell the person to send you the link for the social media. Going live, you know, with Forever, we provide everything for you. And that's why business made easy with Forever. In fact, I, I just wonder how the company is making their money. When they are helping us to be happy, helping us be, to make money, helping us to be healthy. Okay, so our media, social media training is for tomorrow. And we have three wonderful ladies that will be joining us tomorrow. So our ladies, one just 30, 30 seconds, just the woman of today, what do you want to say? Just, you know, just say one or two things. Just one advice for all of them, okay? Well, please hold on while we're at that. We have a business opportunity again. If you are here, you're, you've been invited, you're a woman, you're not part of us. So we are all women from Forever Living Product. We are business owners from Forever Living. Uh, we have other, our other lives, but we have this business. You can join us for the business opportunity and product training that is coming up on Sunday, 12th of March, 7 p.m. The link will also be sent to you the same way you got this link as well. So join us every week. Every week we have training on social media. We are training for the business. We are training for the product. So you are not lacking in personal development. You are not lacking in the need to do this business. 
someone is asking for the recording of, of this webinar. It will be sent to you the same way you got the link for this program. It will be sent out. We know that a lot of people will need this, both people that are in the business and both people that are outside will send the link as soon as possible, the same way we got it. There's a special online recognition that is coming up this Friday. We recognize our members that have done well this every month, and the one for the month of March is this Friday, and it's be taking place online as well, you see, to accommodate everybody, 4 p.m. Friday, 10th of March. 4 p.m. Friday, 10th of March, come and see people that have achieved the business in different ways and what they've been able to get. We recognize everyone, no matter your level, every month. Okay. Any other announcement for me? Okay, so I see, thank you, thank you. My daughter just said she's very happy she didn't miss this. Oh, that's great. So, so grandmas are bringing in their children, their daughter, they are bringing in their grandchildren. That's what we're talking about. International Women's Day is all about women looking good, feeling better, having a voice. You know, there's also equity. It's all about equity in the business. The tech space where all the men are, it is the time for the women. Have you noticed that the women, whatever a man can do, a woman can do better? I hope there's no man on this uh, on this uh, on this uh, session. <laughs> it's true. So thank you so much, everyone. So our our speakers will just say, "Oh, I see someone raising their hand." No, I think time for question is over. We need to round up now. Uh, just our speakers, please just one one second. Just a word of advice for a woman that is discouraged, a woman that you know is looking forward to today. People are not seeing our work, our efforts. What do you tell her? What do you tell a woman like that? Just, just 30 seconds, one minute, and then we'll round, wrap up. Thank you. Pastor Kamaka. Okay, for me, I just want to say my three Ds. Uh, that has been my mantra since I, I started business generally. Decide what you want, okay? You just have to decide. Make that decision that whatever it is you want to achieve, with God, it is possible. Then my second D is discipline. Be disciplined to learn whatever it is you need to learn to achieve what you want be disciplined to do whatever it is you need to do when you need to do it and be disciplined enough to be grateful you know it takes discipline to just whatever it is that's happening around you know that god has your back he's going to work it out for your good then the last d is determination whatever it is you want to achieve the seed of greatness is inside you and you can achieve it be determined thank you Thank you so much, Grandma. Grandma, I must tell you again, if you came in late, she is a mother of seven and a grandma of five. Eh? And she's like this. I am eh, a young girl. You like this in your 40s. Please, I am a young girl. <laughs> I'm very, very young. All right, I will say the God factor, know your God, love your God, follow your God. It's very, very important in life as a woman. It's only your God. And um, don't depend on anyone to make you happy. Make yourself happy. That's the first place, okay? And then the second G is your goals. What are your goals? Always wake up with a goal that you want to achieve and always sleep with that goals you want to achieve as you take it to your, your God also. And then I want to say to every woman, go, 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 go get it. You're able. Thank you. Mrs. Olusoya. Yeah, thank you very much for today. I want to tell you that um, Forever has the opportunity to give you nutritional and financial balance. So if you are not here, this is a place for you. You know what Forever will help you to achieve? Your body, you will have a balance, your body. Your mindset will change. And I just want to encourage you because as women, we need to heal fast. We need to learn how to heal fast. Our mind, our emotions, and learn to forgive and have a heart of attitude, a, a, a graceful heart. And then I want to also encourage that our spirits also should be nourished. You know, we should develop and maintain personal relationship with our creator. And I want to tell you that you are fantastic. Women, you are fantastic. So we today, we celebrate you. We celebrate virtue. We celebrate courage. We celebrate you all the way. So go, go, go there. God's got your back. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our panelists, Pastor Okamaka. God bless you. Pastor Achua, God bless you. Mrs. Olusaya, God bless you. You have made our day. I'm sure a woman is out there smiling because she sees you and she has hope. To all our special guests, you are welcome. I encourage you to buy at least a product. Even if you're not joining us, buy one of these products. You have heard so many, so many testimonies. Your health is well. Okay, and we welcome you to join us on all of our trainings. You can get a recording of this, and then all of us can can be better, can look better, and also feel better. So we'll come again tomorrow on the social media. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Love you Bye. all. Bye. Happy International Women's Day. Go, 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 digital. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye.